hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Railroads Online with me, Carburetor. Today we are going to be running the largest train that I have yet run on up to the uh, iron mine and back down to the smelter. So if we take a quick look, this is the new, I forget what this is, uh, I want to get this right. There it is. D and R G W class 48, so we're just going to call it the 48 or Thomas, I'll let you guess why. <laughs> 060 tank engine just saying <laughs> but uh we have an entire load to go up so we have three cordwood cars we have three hopper cars and then we have four of the stake bed cars that we're going to load up with planks and beams so the conversion rate for all these is two cars of each of these gives you three cars of iron now three cars of iron gives you 30 steel and for 30 steel, you need 30 cordwood. Well, this isn't going to be 30 cordwood, but it's going to be close enough. So I'm going to run to, to the, uh, I'm going to run up to the uh, lumber, uh, I'm going to run up to the saw, <laughs> uh, I'm tripping on my words, I'm still sick. I'm going to run up to the uh, lumber camp, I'm going to load up the cordwood, I'm going to run down to the sawmill, load up my beams and my planks, and then I'll come back to you guys with uh, the updates from there, because that's when I think it's going to start getting sketchy. And with that, we are all loaded up. You can see we have two beam cars, two plank cars. We have our three empty hoppers, and we have three uh, three of the cordwood cars. I'm not going to lie, this is a really heavy locomotive. Just pushing it around the map has been insane. To even empty, it's been like, holy cow. When you take off, when you take a look at this. So we're going to take off, and you can literally see as each of the uh, couplers takes slack. It is insane. I'm going to be careful going around this curve. I don't want to pull them off the, uh, off the track. There's only really two places I foresee this being a problem. Right after we get out of here, as soon as we start our climb up, because that's 2.5% with this engine. Now, this engine has theoretically three times as much power as the Porter. And I'm not carrying three times, times as much, but I am carrying a solid 2.5% times as much. So I'm hoping I don't pull stuff off the line. Now, I have the hoppers in the middle because the hoppers should be the heavier cars. They should be the ones that are... They, even empty, they are one of the heaviest cars. So I'm hoping that by putting them there that they're not going to interfere too much. And I didn't want to put them at the back because when I'm going downhill, I don't want to be fighting them pushing through the train. So I wanted to keep them a little bit more towards the front. Pick it up a little bit here. We're going to need some speed for hitting this. Let's put it at 80%. Looks like we're making it up just fine. Looks like, yeah, we got all of our cars there as we go across the, uh, oh, this is the viaduct right here. I love being able to look down and see my rail down below. I think that is so cool. <clears throat> Give some scale to how much uh, we've climbed. I want to hear that engine beat more. There we go. Hear that thumping. So, made it through the bad area because it switches from 2.5% to 2% there. So, if we're past that, we should be okay. this goes well, I might, uh, when I buy the Heisler or the Climax, I might, uh, I might try and get this even longer. I don't know if that's good. Oh. oh, that is so cool. Finally, we're actually dealing with trains, not just, you know, pulling up three or four cars. No, I'm pulling up like a full, well, maybe not a full, but I'm pulling up a, a, de a definitive train here. 
take the rag down a little bit here. Not that it really matters, but... Now this is, I believe, 1% up until about halfway through, and then it kicks to 0.5%, so... From the back here, it looks a lot less like Thomas and a lot more like Lady from, uh, from the Magic Railroad. <laughs> Just that, that color. They've introduced a lot of different paint jobs for the locomotives, and I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping that as they uh, continue to progress, that I might be able to find like a black color or a blue color for this. Because in the railway series, the actual books, Thomas was black for a good portion of it. It was only later on that he turned blue, and I think that they made him blue in the railway series or in the uh, in the television show just because it's you know a lot pretty than the. Uh, than what would have actually been. And this leads me to another question also, so let me hop out here. Who should I make Edward? So, I've thought about the Montezuma being Edward, but the Montezuma is surprisingly small. I mean, look at the difference in size there, and Edward is about the same size as Thomas. So I've thought, okay, maybe the Eureka can be, uh, can be Thomas, but I, I just, I don't know. So, I want to know what you guys want. I'm probably going to end up making Montezuma Edward, but I just, I don't know. Click on the bell as we're coming in. Pick the rag down. Start breaking a little bit. I don't want to break too much because I don't want the, I don't want to kick the, the cars off the rails and pull. This is a long train. We're applying the brakes here. Let's go back and let's go see how we did. We're almost ready to be lined up for the for loading iron, so. Looks like I need to pull forward a solid one and a half car lengths. I still wish they would make it so that the where you built up from is already a uh, wow we are way off center I don't know what's up with that I wish they would make it though so that um, the uh, so that where you load up and where you drop off from is already spawned in so that the rails already there so you just have to connect up to it. Now, I realize that that could be a problem because these are not straight, if I remember right. These are kind of... Oh, no, that's straight, but they're not straight up with this, so... But just if you had, like, a definitive, here's where you need to... where the track is going to go, I think that'd be a lot better in my opinion. It's like, no, that'll do. That'll do. All right, let's on these. Making money, making money. What am I at now, anyway? Only 374. <laughs> That's fine. I knew I was going to make it when I brought the iron down, not when I made the, uh, not when I brought the planks and beans up, so... All right, we are all loaded. Let's go up and let's take on off. I really hope that my that I don't sound too nasally because I I think I am, but I don't know. All right, put her at about fifty, and then we're, I'm gonna go back and tie the last two. Yeah, this definitely feels like a real train now. Holy cow. This feels so cool. And yeah, I realize that this is the wrong color here. Oop. Uh, 
Pulling off this train would be a bad idea. I'd have no way to get back on. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh. There we go. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. And I didn't save it. I didn't save it. Crap, crap, crap. Now I'll go to the other side. What the heck? <laughs> oh. <sighs> what in the heck? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die. I'm the train's gonna die if I can't get up there. Cause this is the steep section right here. This is bare rock. So Alright, we're back up here. We're applying brakes. The brakes on, on this are actually pretty decent, so... Plus I got those two tied in back. Gaining a little bit of speed, let's... the brake. Back on the reg. Still hauling. We're still hauling the mail. Alright, come off the reg a little bit here. This is where we start going back downhill. Now I think it's two, two or two and a half percent for a little while. And then right after we cross this little hill down here, it drops a percent, so... Have to be careful. This is one of the areas where I derail the most. Right here, this little bump right here is what dropped to 5%, so... Slow that we're going a little fast. Looks like I got all my cars there. See, I think I see there. Alright, let's slow down a little bit here and then I'm gonna <coughs> tie the brakes on here. Get off this so I don't have to stop on my way back up. Man, this is cool. Flick it over. See if we can catch back up with this train and do this all over again. Because I didn't learn my lesson the first time. Kick that brake off. Brake off. Not in as much peril trying to get up this, so. I hope you guys like the new layout I've been doing here. So I have a bypass lane right here in case somebody is stopped. Or if you need to do some shunting. Yes, I'm going to say shunting, even though I know that's a British word for it. She's not stopping. For some help with the old regulator there. There we go. Let's go unload. 200 bucks per car. This is going to be nice. This, this is when I really start making the bank. Alright, let's throw the brake. Let's uncouple.
Coming on back. Okay, we're going fast. We're probably going to hit the buffer at the back. Hope looks like we'll be fine. Okay, come back. Probably going to hit the buffer. Just to do it. But I could probably fit four, uh, four, could, four wood cars back here. That's kind of neat. If I needed to. I don't know if I could. Uh, yeah, I could look. So I can run four cordwood cars. At this. And bonk. There we go. I'll tie it in. Kick that brake off. Here we go. Keep it a little bit slow here going around these corners and I'm going to run over here so I can flick the switch so that it comes over here the next time. And here she comes. Or he comes, I guess. This is a cool looking locomotive. This is really cool. I like it. Gotta be over the other side. Maybe I should kick the throttle up a little bit more next time I'm taking off because that's going a little slow. I don't even know if she's going to make it up the hill far enough for me to flick the switch. Yeah, she's grinding to a halt. <laughs> oh, she's sliding. She's sliding. Low, so I can run back here and flip the switch. Make it? You gonna make it? Nope. A little more. I can flip the switch. She is crawling. I didn't leave any brakes on, did I? I don't think I did. I just get over this switch. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Come on, push, push, push. Come on, push. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Can I? Oh, looks like I got it. So. Well, I think if she hit, had hit that at speed, 30% probably would have been enough, but wasn't, so. Oh, oh, oh. On. On. Needs food. Yo, hi ho silver. We're railroading now. <clears throat> All right, coming up this trestle here. It's it turns to four percent at the base, if I remember right. So I'm gonna have to probably kick it up the throttle again. <clears throat> I'm gonna leave it at seventy five percent right now, just to see, but. Probably gonna have to kick it up. <coughs> Here we are at four percent. He seems to be doing all right.
but she might be slowing down a little bit here. It does get to a little bit more than 4% because it wants to curve up and hump over to meet up with this, which is, I believe, 1.5%, so... Oh yeah, she's slowing down, but she's doing it. She's taking it like a champ. And under we go. God, I love this. I love going under this bird. And we're picking up speed again. We're out of the worst of it, I think. Alright, we're coming back up to the sawmill. I'm going to kick down the regulator because when you're going around that tight curve right there, you don't want to be going too fast, otherwise you might derail. The train will probably be fine, or the locomotive will probably be fine, but the train might derail. So, I'm going to kick off here myself to flick this switch back as it goes by. Flick it over. It would probably be fine going around that corner, going around that turn. I mean, it's only 35 degrees. I'm only 35 degrees. Yeah, I don't even think they use 100 degree turns on modern railways for outside of like shunt yards and whatnot or outside industry. Here she comes. Looks like we still have everything there. So, made a solid, uh, I'm going to say roughly, I'm, I think I made 1100 bucks. I think I started off with a little more than 100 so did pretty well on this run. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care, stay safe, wish me good health because I'm going to need it, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye. Oh, and also tell me, which one should I get for Edward? Should I get the Montezuma or the Eureka? I don't know which one I should get. Honest to, honest to Lord, I have no idea which one to get.